for all those who said that the chainmail should be hanging from a target instead of laying flat on it here's the same axe sharp against the same mail hanging from from a bit of a wood here as a gambeson underneath and a plank of wood behind the gambeson so let's see if that will make any difference is intact. Not the strike. That stuck in the riveted mail link but didn't break it. I'll show you later. Now Tristan Milewski suggested that I should try to hook and then drag in order to, to burst links in the mail, so we'll try that. As expected, no damage to mail, and it's quite hard to hook it with this type of axe because it comes at this angle. It doesn't come at that angle, really, unless you hook it there. But then I can't see how you can, by just pulling it, take down the riveted links. So a few more, a few more blows on the mail, and then a frost as well. That made a hole here. You see even the spark was there. I managed to bring one solid link and bend two riveted ones. With the very tip of an axe going through it. A few more. A thrust, of course didn't went through. That made a hole here. It punched through a solid link again and bent a derivative one. A few more blows. As you can see, they're pretty powerful. Not quick and precise. They just made like a haymakers in order to break the man underneath the mail. Okay, so let's see what damage we've done with all that whacking. So, the biggest hole is here. There's one here. There's one here. 